So I started this video out wanting to explore the world of self-help gurus in the business sphere. You know, those YouTube pre-roll ads that you get after you search one time how to make passive income in 30 days, you just get them all the time. All these pre-roll ads on how to become a millionaire and how to retire at the age of 30. But it's just a way of them to sell you a shitty course with information you can find online for free yourself. And it's just a way of them to line their pockets even more, you know, just basic ethical business practice. But then I remembered the top level guru of them all, Tony Robbins. And if you don't know him, you're about to, and then immediately wish that you didn't. I remember watching his documentary on Netflix a few years ago when I was embarrassingly going through this motivational phase of my life. And yes, mum, it was just a phase, except for my emo phase, that is forever. And I walked away after watching it with one single thought in my mind, that was weird. So there I was researching his basic business advice for this video in particular, but I just remembered this one part of the documentary that is just stuck with me forever, where he pressured a girl to break up with her partner in front of like two and a half thousand people. In fact, maybe that's what we should do as a first step. Get out your phone. And it's time to start doing the right thing, right when you know it's fucking right. Not when it's convenient and comfortable and feels good to you and you get your brain around it. Pick up your fucking phone. I don't want to hurt him. You already are. He thinks he has a chance and you know there's no way in fucking hell. How you doing? Hey, baby. You know what? Um, I've kind of just come to a serious realization and I just feel like I need to tell you and... I think realistically, I love you so much that I, I make excuses for the fact that we're probably really not right for each other romantically. And I just wanted to... Can you imagine just for a second what it would be like to be on the receiving end of that phone call? Hey babe, what's up? Wait, you're breaking up with me? Why? Wait, wait, hold up, I can't hear you. What's up with all this music and people clapping in the background? Are you cheating on me? It's okay though, because they got back together in the end. As I kept watching more of Tony Robbins content for this video in particular, I realized that all of the stuff that he says is really just blanket term things that your friends tell you when you're going through a tough time and they don't really know what else to say other than have you tried going for a war? Have you done meditation? Time heals all wounds and let's get fucked up and forget about all of our problems. But because this dude has such a large platform and following, suddenly all this basic advice is being perceived differently. As I was coming up with jokes about him, I thought to myself, hey, this guy is mega successful. Before I go in on him, I should probably do my research, you know, figure out what his backstory is and what grounds he has to stand on when it comes to giving advice to people that have gone through very traumatic experiences. And well, the results may shock you. Our man's T-Dog here, we'll be referring to him as T-Dog for the rest of the video, only graduated high school. That's it. No psychology degree, no other degree in a medical field. He is literally the definition of $5 therapy. Oh man, I wish I got paid millions of bucks to tell my mates everything's gonna be all right. But as I dug deeper, things got way, way worse. I was watching his seminars and I was thinking to myself, what is with all of this like obnoxious clapping and really loud music? I feel like I'm in a nightclub here. But instead of spending a hundred bucks in a night waking up with a hangover and a few regrets, I have sold all my belongings and spent thousands of dollars to go to like a three day seminar. Come to think of it, there's really not much of a difference between the two asides from money. But then it also reminded me of the seminars that pyramid schemes hold. That's when I discovered that T-Dog got his start on a motivational world by being mentored by Jim Rohn. Now, Jim Rohn's name is not really that important, but what is important is that he mentored Mark Hughes. Now you're thinking, who is Mark Hughes? Are you related to him? No, thank fuck, because he's the dude that started Herbalife. Yes, that Herbalife, the most evil pyramid, I mean, multi-level marketing company of all time. So my predictions were right. My man's is essentially running a pyramid scheme because you know, the seminars, they're just too similar. Until I discovered 
that T-Dog actually started a pyramid scheme. People will try and defend this part of his career as a franchise opportunity, which is what it was marketed as, but he scammed people trying to franchise his own seminars in the early 90s. Telling people that they could make up to $250,000 a year if they just sold off his products from his seminars to others for a low buy-in cost of anywhere between $5,000 and $90,000. But the kicker here is one victim only made a measly $41,000 over five years. Yikes. Does that sound familiar to you? Because it sure as shit does to me. But it's okay because T-Dog paid a settlement fee and then he just moved on to other scams. These few facts are literally just kind of scratching the surface on how evil this man really is. I didn't even get into the Me Too predicament he got caught up in or how he used to get people at his early seminars to walk over hot coals. Yes, you heard that right. Or the fact that he's, all of his methodology is based on a pseudoscience. He's basically the Michael Cera of motivational speaking. You know, he's got great intentions, but you can definitely tell it just kind of showed up one day. No one bothered to ask for his credentials and suddenly he's deep in a career. But difference is I really love Michael Cera and not T-Dog. And look, I really don't think there is anything inherently bad with self-help gurus or life coaches for that matter. Although I really do believe they prey on the vulnerable. I see it as, hey, if you're feeling a bit down, need a bit of gas in your life, then go for it. But when you start giving advice on someone that's gone through something really traumatic when they need a therapist or a psychologist instead, I find that criminal in my eyes. T-Dog has made a career in hundreds of millions of dollars of other people's trauma and it's really disgusting to see. And you might be thinking to yourself, yeah, well, Mr. Dude on the internet, what's the alternative? Go to therapy, that's the alternative. This guy's sessions and seminars go for thousands of dollars and you hear these wild stories of people that spend their life savings and they sell up everything that they own just to hear this dude talk. And again, that's great. But if you've gone through something traumatic, you should really save that money for therapy. You could probably get a year's worth of therapy sessions with that money you saved from not going to those seminars. And if you're one of the lucky ones and you live in Australia, you can go to your local doctor and get a mental health plan where you get about 10 free sessions a year. Why do I know this? Because I've been doing that for the last five years. So again, don't waste your time or money on this bozo. Give this video a like and I'll see you guys next time.